Him as your hero, Jay here. We're here in Stuttgart at Control Show 2025 to learn a little bit about our automated solution. But as you know, I'm not going to be able to explain it. So we have Max here. Max, good to see you. Thanks for coming. Good to see you, Jay. Hey. Thank you. Before we start, can you tell us who you are, what you do? Sure. My name is Maximilian Wiedemann. Um, I am responsible for the sales development for automation and integration. And um, yeah, I'm happy to yeah. introduce our innovations regarding automation here. Fantastic. And I'll tell you, it's not fair because we actually know each other quite well. So it's good to see you again, my friend. Uh, uh, now, we're standing here uh, uh, in front of this beautiful cell. What What is it? What are we looking at? So we actually have a bunch of innovations here, mm -hmm. a bunch of highlights. Um, I would like to start with um, our technologies that we should, uh, see here. Sure, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we have one uh, new scan box for RC here. Okay. So the RC type of scan box, which is specifically designed to be integrated in, the, in an automated environment. I see. So what you see is it comes with an automated door, side mm -hmm. door, for the purpose of loading and unloading of sure, parts. Sure. It's equipped with an automation interface to do the data okay. exchange, you know, remote control the, sure. the machine, which means like starting CNC runs, getting the feedback of the results. Yep. And of course it has the, the powerful ATOS Q <laughs> optical sensor. <laughs> optical inside. sensor, yeah. But besides of the optical technology, mm -hmm. we also have a tactile machine sure, here. Sure, this I know what this is. That's our well-known <laughs> yeah. Duramax machine. Yeah. yeah. But it's also equipped with our automation interface. Okay, yeah? okay. And uh, the idea is what we show here is that basically no matter which machine we have in our IQS portfolio, okay. all of them can be easy integrated in an automated environment. Okay. Yeah? Can you can you can you explain a little bit more about the automation interface? Because I know I understand the technologies and thanks for for bringing that in, but there's a glue here. Yeah. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, sure. So the automation interface, it's an option for all of our systems we have in the IQS portfolio. Mm -hmm. It's a standard uh, option which makes it possible to easy integrate the machines, to easy automate them. Um, and we make this very transparent. Yeah? We have a, a defined interface description. We give this to our customers and they can do the integration by themselves, integrate them into existing machines, or of course, what we also offer, the whole turnkey solution also. Got it, got it. But so, can, we, can we dive in? Sorry to cut yeah, you off. Yeah, yeah. How does that work? It's um, in this specific case. Yeah. yeah. In this specific case, we showcase a robot, robotic automation, mm -hmm. and uh, we combine here two technologies. Okay. As I said, in this case, it's optical and tactile okay. measurement. It could also be a CT measurement, so depending on what the yeah. customer needs. Yeah. Yeah. And what we do is, we have several parts here, mm -hmm. and we use the strengths of both um, measurement technologies. Sure. Yeah. So, which means, for instance, we have here a femoral part, or now um, it's here an aerospace part, the yep. blade you see here, which is loaded into the scan box. Yep. Yeah? Now, with the optical solution, we measure many, many features very quickly on mm -hmm. the blade. And after this quick measurement, we put the same part on the CMM to measure the features which have very high precision, like the fir tree, for example. Got it, got it. So yeah. I, I, uh, we're basically leveraging the strengths of each machine exactly. and combining them. And, and I see also there's a femoral knee, so I know a little bit about medical applications too. Right. The strength of uh, the knee application in the scan box is, of course, the freeform exactly. surface on the knee side, but then there's some very accurate locating pins on the back that is perfect. Actually, it's it's there right now on the uh, on the CMM. Yeah. Uh, so we leverage the accuracy of the tactile CMM with the freeform solution of the ATOS, and then the glue that exactly. puts it together is that automation. Uh, uh, exactly. Solution. Yeah. So 
Um, so as you said, we use the strengths of both systems yeah. and we're combining them with the automation. I can tell you some more few words about yeah, the automation, how this works. So you see here the different parts and mm -hmm. the special thing about this automation here is the parts are uh, fixed on this so, uh, mini pallet system. Mm -hmm. So, which means the, the interface to the robot, to the gripper, is always yeah. the same, no matter which geometry uh, you have on the parts. Yeah? And you yeah. can clamp all the different parts. And second special here is we have an RFID tag okay. on every single pallet. Got it. With all, that contains all uh, part information, like when was it produced, which batch. Right. Um, also a serial number. Great. To get you know, the whole traceability yep. we need of, in, of where the part is in so, regulated industries. Also. So you're, you're using a common uh, palletization so that the robot gripper can, uh, doesn't matter what part it's on. However, the RFID will be the interaction of telling the robot, even though it's a common interface, what is actually on it. Is it a knee? Which knee is it? Where did it come from? Is it a blade? Perfect. Uh, so, and, and in fact, the operator doesn't necessarily need to keep a, a, an order of the parts. You can just, just put randomly in. put it in, sort the uh, unsorted the parts. And the system itself will, because of the RFID, can grab it. And because of the custom palletization, it doesn't have to look after a different different way to do it. Makes it, makes it very That's easy for the good. operator. So no risk of, of errors. And yeah. now you see also the, the new part, which is loaded here it's going with, in, yeah. with the double gripper system. We get the measured part out. Mm -hmm. We directly place the new part inside. Yep. So ah, all at once. All, so, all at once. Yep. We have almost no standstill times. Maximum That's machine good. utilization. And yeah, we also okay, know. But let me throw a curveball at you. So it's great that we can now. We have these great technologies. We have the interface between the two. But what about the data at the end? What What do we do? How do we get the data? Where does it yeah, go? Exactly. Exactly. Because the measurement. You need, you need to have a good visualization of the data, yep. of course. You need to get an answer. What do I have to do now? What do yep. I do with my results? And what we do is here, we, we combine the results of the scan box mm -hmm. with the results of the tactile measurement in one common report. Oh, that's right? great. So, so we have it all digital. We have it in, in one database. And we visualize it with iWeb. Mm -hmm. um, and so you can directly see um, where is an error and what do I have to do uh, and where do I have to correct my production process? Sure, ideas. sure. So this is said a different way, not two machines working next to each other. This is actually one measuring unit. The report that comes out is one common measuring report. This is not two that a user will have to go look through two different reports and try to figure out what, what's what. This yeah. acts as one measuring system uh, uh, leveraging two two technologies. As one, two technologies or three technologies. Oh, how many? Uh, how many? Uh, so we have the the benefits of the technology. We have an easy integration mm -hmm. with the automation interface. Um, we are we are doing the automated loading, so yep. we have minimum operator effort at the same time maximum machine utilization, and we combine everything in one report. And that's what our approach is yeah. to drive our customers to success at the end of the day with technology that's, made by Zeiss. That's yeah? fantastic, so. my friend. Well, I'm, I'm sold, so uh, okay. uh, where do I sign up to get one? <laughs> I appreciate it, Max. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Jay. Uh, enjoy the show here. Yes, I will uh, do. It's great to, to be here at Control Show, and so uh, hopefully, if you all are here, don't forget to stop and see us. Uh, if not, stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Yeah.